Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Yes, their son, Harry. He was sure there were lots of people called Potter who had a son called Harry. Come to think of it, he wasn't even sure his nephew was called Harry. Harry. They're saying he tried to kill the Potter's son, Harry. No one knows why or how, but they're saying that when he couldn't kill Harry Potter, Voldemort's power somehow broke, and that's why he's gone. It's just astounding, of all the things to stop him, but how in the name of heaven did Harry survive? I've come to bring Harry to his aunt and uncle. Harry Potter, come and live here? He'll be famous, a legend. I wouldn't be surprised if today was known as Harry Potter Day in future. There will be books written about Harry. Every child in our world will know his name. She eyed his cloak suddenly, as though she thought he might be hiding Harry underneath it. Dumbledore took Harry in his arms and turned towards the Dursley's house. He bent his great shaggy head over Harry and gave him what must have been a very scratchy, whiskery kiss. But I c c can't stand it. Lily and James dead and poor little Harry off to live with the muggles. He laid Harry gently on the doorstep, took a letter out of his cloak, tucked it inside Harry's blankets, and then came back to the other two. Good luck, Harry, he murmured. Harry Potter rolled over inside his blankets without waking up. To Harry Potter, the boy who lived.